ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 19th day of January. One more cold air shot we'll have to deal with. It'll be coming in here tonight and tomorrow, and then we'll finally see the weather a little more comfortable later this week. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. We'll start with the Birmingham Skycam. Uh, that's looking south right down 20th Street. And it's uh, cold, but not too bad this morning. Temperatures are mostly in the 30s. Here's a look at our uh, Chilton County Skycam down in downtown Clanton. That's the Clanton City Hall. And in Shelby County, that's the view coming from the University of Montevallo campus. Boy, look at the amplitude of this pattern across the country. This is the water vapor satellite imagery, and on top of that, the uh, height lines at 500 millibars. And look at the 588 circle over Idaho. That's something you might expect to see in the summertime around here. So needless to say, our friends out there will be awfully warm. But of course, downstream, it is very cold over the east. And there's a look at the numbers this morning. Temperatures around the Great Lakes, once again, are in the single digits and in some cases below zero. You can see down here, readings are generally around freezing, although there's a pocket of 20s over east Alabama and uh, western Georgia, roughly from Atlanta or from uh, Anniston back over to uh, Rome, Georgia. And uh, let's take a look at the Watch warning map, and interesting, off to the east, those are winter storm watches and winter weather advisories from northeastern Georgia through the Carolinas. And this little impulse uh, rounding the trough could bring four to six inches of snow to our friends in those white counties over there in the Carolinas. And by golly, there might even be some snow on the Outer Banks and Wilmington right there on the coast. How about that? Now, the QPF chart showing nothing here. Uh, I do think we have a chance of snow flurries uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, but in terms of the accumulating snow, the better chance of that will be over there really in uh, parts of North and South Carolina. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the 06Z GFS at noon today. And again, that amplitude is pretty remarkable. Western Ridge, Eastern Trough. Down below that, uh, it'll be a cool day today. High should be in the 40s, but... Uh, northerly flow, and again, note that little green showing up, indicating some risk of maybe uh, snow showers or snow flurries north of here. We could see some of those arriving this evening and tonight, but for most of us, it should not amount to anything. Tomorrow's surface low moves up the coast, and that's the one that should bring the snow to the Carolinas. And again, around here, there could be a few flurries tonight or tomorrow morning, but the big story is the cold. Check out the thickness values. You know, by golly, we might have a hard time getting above freezing tomorrow. It's going to be a lot like uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. And Wednesday morning, the bottom should drop out. I think many spots are going to reach the teens. But we'll warm up during the day. The high should be in the upper 40s. And then by Thursday, we'll make a nice recovery. We should be close to 60 by Thursday with a good deal of sunshine. Now, Friday, starting off the, uh, that's not the weekend, wrapping up the work week, the uh, Gulf of Mexico opens up and a few showers break out to the west. And then as we start the weekend on Saturday, here comes a cold front from a surface low northeast of here. And that should uh, bring a few showers to the state. I don't think it'll be an especially heavy rain event, certainly no severe weather. Just keep in mind a few showers are possible Friday night and Saturday. Rainfall amounts with that should be under one half inch. And then uh, Sunday, the front uh, kind of stalls out near the Gulf Coast. And uh, we should see a dry day and a little cooler, but certainly nothing too cold. And then Monday of next week in the upper levels, look at the trough out there in the Pacific Coast. That's a big one. And uh, 588 Ridge over the Gulf trying to nose in here. So uh, that should be a warmer day. and looks a little showery maybe with uh, moisture in place. But again, the rain should not be a big deal. Uh, five days later, what's left of that big trough out west kind of moves through here in a much weaker state, and that suggests a pretty decent little rain event if this is right at the end of the month on the 31st, and then on the 3rd of next month, 3rd of February, if this is right. Big trough rolling through here, negative tilt. That looks uh, wet, stormy, and a 1,048 millibar high nosing in behind that thing. And, yeah, we see some hint of maybe the 
Rain briefly changing to snow, but keep in mind this is about as deep into voodoo country as you can get. This will be, be probably gone in the next run. So let's look at the North Atlantic Oscillation. And down there at the bottom, we note that we are expecting that to be in positive range for the rest of this month. And then uh, into early February, it tries to get below the neutral line there. So something like that is certainly possible. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.